You're not moved when everything's going wrong or when everything's going right. You're the same because you're persuaded, you're committed, you've been believing and knowing. So how to get from believing to knowing, from persuaded to committed. Now write this down. Now, well, let me just say this scripture first, this statement. This scripture, if you understand this scripture, verse 12, it eludes theological or critical analysis. It, it has sort of a charm and a passion to it. It just tells you you can do all things, but there's a four-step process in which to do all things, to receive all things, and to get all things. Now, how do you get from believing to knowing? Well, first, first thing first, you've got to believe. Now, a lot of people have asked me uh, that know me, said, but Jesse, you just seem to, you know, you never get sad or anything. You, you know, uh, it just seemed like, uh, you know, when everybody's having financial trouble, you blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going in, blessed going out. Now, what's the reason for that? How do I, how do I react in, when circumstances come? When you believe in God for something, it doesn't come to pass the way you thought. Do you give up? Do you quit? Now, listen to this point. This is the believing part. How to get from believing to knowing, from persuaded to commit it. You have to establish in your heart. Write this down. You have to establish in your heart, not in your head, that God can't lie. Now, write that down. See, what makes me what I am, the Christian that I am, I have convinced myself that God can't lie. See, God is not a liar. Satan is the author of lies. You have to establish in your heart, not in your head, that God can't lie. And a lot of ministers have not got to that point yet because they rely on you instead of relying on God. They rely on you like, my Lord Jesus, if you don't come, we can't make it. Well, God said all things are possible to them that believe. Not all things are possible to them that have a full church. You see, I've established in myself, in my heart, not in my head, that God can't lie. And when, and, and see, I'm not trying to convince myself. There are a lot of people trying to convince themselves God can't lie. I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing. I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing. I'm standing on the word, standing on the word, standing on the word. I'm believing, I'm believing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this thing to work. Come on, Jesus, help me out. But you see, you have to establish yourself in belief. Now, how do you do that? Belief is not a mental attitude. Write that down. It's not, it's not in the processes of your intellect. Belief is not a mental attitude, but moral appropriation. The gospel is not the divine book, but the divine man. You know why I know God can't lie? To you, this is a book. To me, this is a person. And when God says, I'll bless you in the city, I'll bless you in the field, I'll bless you going in, and I'll bless you going out. He ain't talking about the economy. He could care less about the economy or the nation or the nationality or the color or the creed. This is not more than a divine book. It is a divine man. That's why people are mad at Christianity. That's why people are always attacking Christianity. You know why? Because, you see, Jesus is alive and doing well and coming back. Also available as a digital download. Order your copy today. This product is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this product or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.